What you see here on my screen is not just a Python script or something. It is an AI agent that is researching stocks. And its research makes absolute sense. And if you know a little bit about Python, you can build this stock analysis agent together with me in the next two minutes. In this video, we will build not one, but three agents with the PyData agent framework. And the reason why I've chosen for this framework is because it's very simple, but it still has all the necessary features. So make sure to watch this video till the end, because besides from the finance agent, I will also show you how you can build an agentic rec and a multi-agent framework. And at the end of this video, I will show you how you can access all your agents from this nice user interface. So let's get started. And let's start with creating the finance AI agent that you've just seen on my screen. Before we start, create a .env file and make sure that you store your uh, OpenAI API key here in this format. And then let's install all the necessary libraries. And for that, I'm going to navigate to my website. You can find the link to this website in the description of this video. Then copy um, all the libraries here that you need to install. So just click on this icon, and get back to VS Code, open a terminal, paste it here, and then press on Enter. And on this website, you can find uh, all the libraries, but you can as well, as well find all the scripts here that we're going to use today. So we use three Phi data libraries here. The first one is for the agent. The second one is to connect with OpenAI. And the third one is to connect with Yahoo Finance, where all the data is coming from. Now you see that we initiate the agent object here. We give our agent a name. We select a model. And then this is where we can select all the tools that our finance agent can use. So you see that um, it uses Yahoo Finance. And within Yahoo Finance, it can use the stock price. It uses the analyst recommendations, uh, the company information, and as well, company news. And th these are all the sources that the um, AI agent is going to use to make recommendations. Now you see we can give it some instructions. Of course, you can change the instructions and we make the tool calls visible. And then this is where I provide the actual prompt. And later in this video, I will also show you how you can access your AI agent from a really nice user interface. For now, let's run our AI agent. And then you see in this case that the AI agent is telling us that NVIDIA is a way better stock to buy, but it's doing this only based on analyst recommendations and it has not used all the other tools that we have provided it. So I'm just gonna change um, the instructions. Let's save a script and let's run it again. Okay, and now you see in this one, it's still getting the analyst recommendations, but it's also getting company info to make uh, an analysis. And let's jump over to the conclusion. And I see a different conclusion. If you're looking for a high growth potential, you might lean towards NVIDIA. If you prefer a company with strong profitability metrics and steady growth, Meta could be more appealing. So the finance AI agent that I just showed you was cool, but this one is going to be even better. So we are going to provide a knowledge base to our second AI agent. This is the knowledge base. And we are referring here to a file that is on the internet. You can also refer, of course, to a local file. And the file that I'm referring to is this file. And that's a file that has uh, information about Thai recipes, of course. And I'm going to ask it to provide a recipe for Pad Thai Guong Sot. I hope I, uh, I'm pronouncing it correctly. So we're going to load this document in the LandsDB uh, database. It's going to be chunked. And now with Agentic Rack, the agent is going to get the parts from this document that are relevant for the question that we are asking. And it's going to use them to answer the question. So you see here, knowledge base load. You can command this out after you have executed the script once because then the knowledge base has been created. And now you see here that we initiate the agent. So we refer to the model, we add the knowledge base, etc., etc., And of course, we provide instructions. And then this part is a bit different because I'm not going to provide a prompt directly, because, but we can ask questions from the terminal. And you will see in a second what that looks like. So let's run the script. It's now creating the knowledge base. So the first time that you run the script, it's going to take a bit longer. And now you see here, user. And this is because we have just created the CLI app. So let's ask a question. And now you will see that the ingredients list and the recipe that the agent is providing is the same as what you can also find in the PDF file. So this is how agentic rec works. And it's one of the easiest ways to provide knowledge to your agents. So the third agent that we're going to build in this video is the one that I'm most excited about. And that's because in this agent, we're going to build an agent that can use a team of other agents to route questions to. So I'm just going to start with the main agent, which is this one. You see here that the name is agent team. And this agent has access to a team of other agents. So it has access to the web search agent and the IMDB CSV agent. And in the instructions it I provided it, I'm asking it to first always uh, redirect to the CSV agent and then to the web search agent. So then let's jump over to the CSV agent, that is this agent. And this agent has access to a CSV file with all kinds of movies that have been released in the last 10 years. And you can ask it questions about it. And I really like this approach because if you provide your agent access to a CSV file, it has access to a curated knowledge base and you basically know what is in there. If you just provided access to a search engine, you never know what it's going to find and whether this information is correct. 
So that's the IMDb CSV agent, but it's also possible that the information that we want is not part of the CSV file because, for example, we are asking information about a very recent movie, and for that we also have the web search agent, and this agent has access to the DuckDuckGo search engine. Now, of course, you can use very different setups of multi-agents. You can give them different personalities, different prompts, etc. In this example, we have agents that have access to different tools. I could as well have provided all these tools to one agent, but what I'm really interested about here is to see how these agents are going to collaborate and how the main agent is going to route all the questions to uh, the different agents. So let's execute the script. You also see that this part of the code looks a bit different than the pre previous two scripts. And that's because in this script, I'm gonna access the agent team from the user interface. So let's see what that looks like. One thing that is really important is that here you see multi-agent, and this needs to be the name of your um, Python file. So you see that this name is the same here. That's the only thing that is really important. Uh, so make sure that this matches the name of the file you are using. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to ask it a question about a movie which is not in the CSV file. And that movie is Nosferatu. It has only been released in 2024. It's not on the file. So what we're going to see here is that, first of all, the main agent is going to ask a question to the IMDb CSV agent. Um, this agent is going to say that it cannot find the movie. And then the main agent is going to route the question to the web search agent, which is then going to search in the internet. So let's see what that looks like. So as soon as you see application startup complete, you can take this URL. And you can paste it in your browser. And now you see that we can use this really nice graphical user interface. You see that we are talking to the agent team, and that is the main agent that we have just seen. And now you see a trail of what the agent has done. So you see transfer test to IMDB CSV agent. And because the IMDB CSV agent was not able to answer this question, it was then transferred to the web search agent. Now let me know in the comments which of the three agents is your favorite one. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I will try to help you as good as possible.